everyone and welcome back to another Fallout 2 video and today I am going to travel well I'm gonna try to travel uh, and try to find any town that is uh, south of uh, Klamath now I tried to do this in my off-camera save like, I traveled south to a certain point. I don't remember what, what point. And then I tried to go east. Even though going east is so difficult. Because I, uh... I kept hitting a metaphorical brick wall when it came to encounters. Where if I tried to escape them... Sulik would die. So I'm just going to travel the map here. Uh, what I haven't already. Because I know this map isn't, doesn't go on forever. Uh, it goes... Pretty far to the south, though. I do believe I need to go to Vault 13 for the Gek. Oh. It didn't even ask me if I wanted to encounter this or not. Probably because it's not hostile. <clears throat> but I will leave. So this video might be a little bit boring, and that's why. So it started out, yeah, Arroyo. And it, in pretty much the top northwest corner of the map, so. I haven't, I mean, I don't think I went this far south. No, scratch that, I did go at least this far south. But, it was at some point soon where I started to cut it east. But, I'm not going to. I'm going to continue to go south, and then cut it west. A little bit, even though there's a lot to the east. There's that much to the east. Now, I know you can't really see it, per se. But, there's a lot. Uh, yeah, I'm... It happened in the off-camera save where I developed a bunion. A nasty bunion on each foot, and then... It... Developed into another toe. Now, I don't know how... I mean, I haven't really gotten into any radiation. I mean, I've been exposed to radiation if you count the toxic caves. I will. But other than that, I've not been exposed to radiation. Yeah, those bunions are really getting inflamed. Well... They don't affect me. It doesn't affect me. Let those bunions sprout into another toe. On each foot. They haven't yet. I'm just waiting for them to though. Because I know they will. So I'm just waiting for it to say that. 
Yes. There we go. That nasty bunion on each foot seems to have turned into an extra toe. But at least that persistent burning itch has gone away. You don't even walk funny in the... It's like your characters learn to adapt to an extra toe already. Oh, this is the farthest south. So... Am I... going to uh, be able to find Vault 13 by traveling this far south. I know that up here is Oregon. Now my question is uh, because this is Oregon up here is this far south California? I have no idea. But I'm pressing on. I am pressing on. I'm not too worried. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say the thing that I want to say, though. I'll wait for it. What? Don't tell me this is the farthest south I can go. Don't tell me that. I've still got some map to go. Really? This is the farthest south that I can go? Huh. Oh, come on, move. Mm. Yeah, I said I was gonna go to the west, not east. I'm gonna go west! Well, there's not too much to go when I'm talking about going west, but I, I, I will go west regardless. Don't tell me this is the farthest west I can go right here either. Dead gummit! Are you kidding me? Sure, what? What? Arroyo's farther west. I don't exactly want to go east, but I guess I will. Is this the farthest west that I... Dead gummit. This is starting to get annoying. There we go. Now I can go east. I could probably go west too if I really wanted to. Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! That's great! And then there's some stuff in the cave! You hear some sounds coming from within the caves. 
<sighs> I'm probably gonna die, aren't I? I'm probably already dead. <sighs> okay. Am I boxed in? Yeah, I'm boxed in. I I can't go anywhere. I know I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna load the save that I have. If Sulik won't even help me, then I'm gonna die. Okay, so this is the farthest south I can go. Well, this is. Uh, I'm gonna double back up this way. And then go west. Oh, that opened up a lot. Where's the... Oh. This is an ocean. Huh. Interesting. I guess that's why I wasn't able to go any farther uh, west. The way I was trying to go, because... I would have been in the middle of an ocean. That makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. At that point, I will not question it. Sulik better not die, though. Otherwise, I'm going to have to reload the save. Yep. What I was going to say earlier was that I was surprised that I didn't really see any encounters uh, going south, you know, trying to travel south, but uh, I guess traveling east and west are... Very treacherous. Now west. Dead gummit. Okay, the the exit grid is so close. Just don't die, Sulik. There you go. Yeah, I have not really had one of these random encounters where Sulik actually survives. So, it's like in my off-camera save where... Basically, every time I get a random encounter, which seems like it happens every time I move one square east... I now get a random encounter. And at that point, Sulik dies! And so I can hardly make any progress without feeling like I'm going to go insane. Which is a real shame because I really love Fallout games. I haven't played a lot of 4 though, so I, I'm, not, I'm not real big. Uh, I can't give a real good judgment. I'm not just gonna say what the world thinks and say that it stinks, but I really enjoy Fallout 1, 2, 3, and New Vegas. I really enjoy those four Fallout games, and as a matter of fact, a couple weeks ago, I actually beat uh, Fallout New Vegas for the first time. So that was fun.
I don't... I don't want people to hate me for this decision. But... I... Joined forces. I sided with... Kaisar. Yes, I sided with Kaisar in my... Fallout New Vegas playthrough. But that's because I know that Kaisar is not a very popular person that people side with. And I relish in the fact that I am a bit weird as a person. And so that's part of the reason why I wanted... Well, that's mainly why I wanted to side with uh, Kaisar. So even though I know Kaisar and the Legion are basically, that they basically slave people, uh, I uh, would love to play it a different way each and every time until, like, side with Kaisar and then side with Mr. House and then side with the NCR and then Yes Man, for example. Just... Oh god. Enclave patrol. Don't die, Sulik! No! Oh my god! Are those... Are those plasma pistols? I've died. Oh my Your god. lost. I don't think I'll see the same thing on the same square. As yes, I get it because of the definition of... Okay. I mean, it's it's a little bit different scenario this time around, but it's basically the same. I thought I your quest to find the Garden of Eden and return it to your village. I thought that it was just random encounters, basically meaning random. And if you don't know what random is, uh, I have no idea what to tell you. No, I do not want to. En <laughs> I do not want to engage in enclave patrol again. <laughs> I appreciate that the game would ask me that, but the answer is always going to be no. I do not. Not until I can actually face them properly. So it will not be forever and always no. But for the foreseeable future, it will be no. Outdoorsman skill? I, uh... I guess... Outdoorsman gives you experience. Well, this was to explain the extra toe.
Now, what I'm kind of wondering is, uh, uh, how did I get radiated in the first place? Was it just all the exposure in the, uh, the caves? I'm trying to remember the name of. I have to look. Toxic caves, yes. You know, I guess theoretically thinking about it, I guess it's theoretically possible for someone to uh, be able to travel in these last squares if there's something to the east and down. Like, if the... I don't know if this is an ocean, or a lake, or what. I have no idea what it is. It's kind of curious. I don't know, this, this isn't a boring video for me. Even though I've had more entertaining videos in the past that I've made. Oh, are you serious? I died. I guarantee you I died by now. Dead gummit. And I was even thinking about saving at the last square too and I was like no I'll be fine oh my god doomed to die of starvation really it's like oh yes you died it's like oh my god Jesus <sighs> Really? Come on! They don't have plasma pistols this time, they just have 10 millimeter submachine. Oh, I stand in corrected. I stand in corrected. I'd probably die by now. Again. Surely by now I died. Yep. Please don't let this be like Fallout 1. Where I keep dying over and over again after I hit a metaphorical brick wall. Although, I will say... That, uh... <sighs> Are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Jesus Christ. There's Enclave Patrol everywhere. I should have saved when I got to the next uh, square. Because obviously it's impossible for me to get, to get anywhere now. No, I do not. Tell that Enclave Patrol to shove it. And see us guys. I do believe that that will do it. For this Fallout 2 video. And next Fallout 2 video. I will see you later. Goodbye guys. Thank you all for watching.